Ice cream! Mmm! It's tasty, isn't it? I wonder if Pepper and Daddy Pig will end up eating it all in their special ice cream truck. <laughs> <laughs> Oh, not so fast, Pepper. We need to set up first. Mmm, all of these different flavours of ice cream look so yummy. Oh, they sure do, Pepper. Which one would you like to try before we open up the shop to customers? Strawberry, please. Coming right up. <laughs> oh my! Looks like we have some customers, Peppa! <laughs> Hi, Peppa! Hi, Susie! Hi, Mandy! Hi, Peppa! Could we please have some ice cream? Of course you can! You're our customers, Mandy! <laughs> Why don't you both choose which flavour you like the look of? There is lots more. You just need to wait for the Ferris wheel to finish spinning. Mm. Thank you, Peppa. Uh oh. Whoa! It's raining ice cream. Oh my goodness! I'm so sorry, Pedro. Don't worry, Mrs. Pig. I love chocolate ice cream. Mmm. It's okay. I'm all clean now. Good. Why don't you come with me and George to our ice cream truck? A whole truck filled with ice cream. Yes, please. Peppa, I didn't know you had an ice cream truck. Yes, Pedro. And the ice cream is delicious. <laughs> Oh, George, would you like to serve our next customer? Yay! Hmm. Can I have strawberry, please, George? Yeah. <laughs> and now you can give the cone to the customer, George. Ice cream, ice cream! <laughs> oh. Oh, Pedro, I'm sorry. George loves ice cream too much to be an ice cream seller. Hey, I have an idea, Pedro. Oh, my goodness. What an excellent idea, Pepper. This will test all of our ice cream making skills. Pedro, hold on one moment, please. OK, Pepper. Get as tall as the Ferris wheel. Seventeen, eighteen, nineteen, twenty. Phew! I can't believe it! A twenty scoop ice cream! I don't think I'm ever going to be able to finish this. Ice cream! Ice cream! Don't worry, Pedro. I know somebody who would be very happy to help. <laughs> yum, yum. These ice creams are scrum diddly doodly umptious. <laughs> Oh no, George, your ice cream! <gasps> oh no, my ice cream! Oh dear! Well, not to worry, we can go back to Grandpa Pig's ice cream stand and get another! <laughs> it 
It's a disaster. My ice cream cart has broken down and all the ice cream has melted. Oh, no. I'm sorry, everyone, but there'll be no more ice cream today. Aww. Aww. Mummy, why don't we go and get our ice cream van from home? That's a fantastic idea, Pepper. Hold tight, everyone. Out of one truck and into another. Yay! Yay! <laughs> I scream, you scream, we all scream for ice cream. Madame Gazelle, what would you like? I'd like a vanilla ice cream and a cone, please. Coming right up. There you go. Yum, yum, yum. Thank you, Peppa. Hello, Peppa. Can I have one scoop of strawberry and one scoop of chocolate, please? One scoop of chocolate and one scoop of strawblet. Whoops. <laughs> there you go. Yay. Thanks, Peppa. <laughs> Hi, Peppa. Can I have a mango sorbet with raspberry sauce and a flake, please? Um, a mango raspberry flake sauce? So that's a blueberry muffin ice cream sundae with walnuts, fizzy sprinkles and chocolate sauce. Um, it was actually a chocolate sundae with almonds and blueberry sauce. Oh no, this is so confusing. Looks like you need a little help there, Peppa. Yes, please, Grandpa. This ice cream making is so much harder than I thought. You just need a bit of practice. Here, why don't you scoop the ice cream and I'll tell you which colours to scoop. OK, Grandpa. A scoop of yellow, a scoop of red, a squeeze of green sauce, one more scoop of orange. That's one banana split with strawberry slices and coconut frosting. Yummy, yummy. We did it. Well done, Peppa. We make quite a team. It was so much fun. Whoops, we forgot one very important customer. Leave this one to me, Grandpa. <laughs> Well done, Peppa. An ingenious ice cream invention. <laughs> oh, George. <laughs> One jump, two jump, three jumps, four jumps. <laughs> wow, Peppa, you did really well. Thanks, Gerald. For you. But it's a little too hot for jump rope. Yes, it's very hot, isn't it? I wonder how hot it is. The thermometer will tell you. What's a thermometer, Mummy? Thermometer, Papa. That's a funny word. Thermometer. <laughs> Here, I'll show you. It tells you how hot or cold something is. What's it saying now? It says it's very hot. We need to find something cold to cool us down. Ice cream is cold, isn't it, Mummy? Yes, it is, Peppa. Yay! Yay! Ice cream, ice cream, get your ice cream. Yes, yes please! <laughs> <laughs> the thermometer said it is very hot and Mummy says we need something cold to cool us down. Oh, well, ice cream will do just the trick. Oh, oh. Here we go. Yippee! <laughs> <laughs> oh no, what's wrong with our ice cream, Daddy? <gasps> hmm, it looks like it's too hot for the ice cream. It's melted. What are we going to do? Our ice creams keep melting because it's too hot. Hmm, 
I think I might have an idea. Uh... What's that for, Daddy? This is a fan pepper. We use it when it gets too hot. Hopefully it will make things cool enough so you can enjoy your ice cream. Here goes! It's too cold now. Oh. Turn it off. T -t Turn it off. Oh dear, it's broken. Well, at least your ice cream won't melt. <laughs> oh, the ice cream is hard. Oh, it's now so cold that the ice cream is frozen solid. That's not good. We need to eat our ice cream somewhere where it's not too hot and not too cold. Hmm, very clever, Pepper. <gasps> Mummy Pig, Mummy Pig, what's the temperature inside the motorhome? <laughs> the thermometer says it's in the middle. Not too hot, not too cold. Right. The motorhome is the perfect place to eat your ice cream. I think I have another idea. Ready? Ready! Ice cream delivery. Get it while it's cold. Ho ho ho! Wow! <laughs> Yummy! Not too hot, not too cold. Perfect! <laughs> Pepper and George are in their little red car. They are playing I Spy. I spy something green. Grass. Yes. Clever, George. Yes. Well done, George. You got that one quickly. Your turn, Mummy. OK. I spy something big and blue. Oh, look, it's the sea. Daddy, you didn't tell us we were going to the beach. We wanted it to be a surprise. But the beach isn't the only surprise. Pepper and George are spending the day at Granny and Grandpa Pig's camper van by the sea. Hooray! Bye, Pepper. Bye, George. Have fun. See you later. Bye. Bye! Come on, George. Let's go up to our room. Me first. Granny, Grandpa, look at us. Careful up there, you two. Beach! Beach! A wonderful idea, George. Let's go to the beach. Woo! Woo! Not too fast, Pepper and George. The sea isn't going anywhere. Pepper and George love to splash in the sea, almost as much as they love splashing in muddy puddles. Oh, that looks like fun. Come on, Grandpa. Everyone loves the sea. Mmm. Grandpa Pig doesn't seem to be going into the sea. Aren't you coming in, Grandpa? Not now, Pepper. I went for my swim this morning. Big wave coming through. Hey, Grandad Dog, can't you see I don't have my suit on? Grandpa Pig, who comes to the beach without their swimsuit? Well, I might as well come in now. Hooray! 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 Mummy and Daddy Pig have returned. Now, Pepper, what was your favourite part of the day? Well, my favourite part was very funny. Go on, Pepper. They will like that story. <laughs> Grandad Dog soaked Grandpa with a big wave while we were on the beach. Grandpa, wet! Yes, George. 
but Grandpa wasn't wearing a swimsuit. Oh, that does sound funny. I certainly did not see that giant wave coming. You're welcome! Do we really need to wear all this sun cream, Mummy? <coughs> yes, Peppa. The sun is shining very brightly today. Right, who's ready to go to the bit? Have you put on your cream, Daddy Pig? Ahem, <coughs> um... Well, now I have. It's time for our adventure at the beach. Here it comes, George. <laughs> Whee! <laughs> Oh, welcome to your very own castle, Prince George and Princess Pepper. Wow! <laughs> wow! Don't worry, George. Sandcastles aren't supposed to last forever. Let's make our own. This smells yummy, Mummy Pig. Thank you. It's so hot today, it feels like we've all been on the barbecue too, Daddy Pig. Oh, don't worry. I have just the thing to help cool us down. Fancy's cooling down in the paddling pool. Me! <laughs> this is so yummy! Ho oh, ho! It certainly is hot! <gasps> Daddy Pig, look at you! You're bright red! Why do crabs bury themselves under the sand? I imagine it's to keep out of the hot sun, Pepper. Mm. Ah! That's it! Ooh! <laughs> Ooh! Uh, be careful! Oh my, it is rather cool down here. There you go, Daddy. That will keep you cool until we go home. <laughs> Good work, Pepper and George. I'm very proud of you. What an adventure today has been. Oh, I'm stuck. Here it comes. Whee! <laughs> Check! Sun cream. <laughs> Check! Okay, but don't go out further than the boy. Yay! <laughs> Look, George, a shiny shell. And slimy seaweed. And a seaweed monster. <laughs> Slippery, slobbery pebbles. Hmm, we can use these to decorate a sand castle. <laughs> what kind of sand castle should we make, George? <gasps> I'm sure. <laughs> okay, let's make a sand dinosaur. <laughs> it's the 
the Sandosaurus Rex. <laughs> oh dear. Don't worry, George. We can turn it into something new. Like a pig. <laughs> Oh no, not again. Hmm, why don't you build it further inland, far away from the sea? Good idea, Mummy. <laughs> there, there's no way that will get destroyed by the sea. But it might get destroyed by the rain. Quickly, we need to get everything into the camper van. Can we take our sandcastle, Mummy? I'm afraid not, Peppa. But don't worry, I've got a great idea. Now hurry along into the camper van. <laughs> Ta da! You can make your sandcastle indoors. Wow! This is amazing, Mummy! We can make anything with this sand. Anyone want a sand milkshake? <laughs> <laughs> you can't do a barbecue indoors. Oh, really? Peppa, you clever little pig. <laughs> oh, and you, George. What a scrumptious feast. Bon appetit! <laughs> <laughs> Mummy Pig and Daddy Pig are taking Pepper and George for a ride in a hot air balloon. Hello, Pepper. Hello, George. Hello, Miss Rabbit. That's a very big balloon you've got there. Why, thank you, Pepper. But it's not just any balloon, it's a hot air balloon. Why doesn't it just float away? Well, we need to fill it with hot air first. Also, I've tied it to the ground just in case. Well, it all looks very exciting. Shall we go for a ride then? Yes, please. It's a very hot day. I think we should all wear our hats to help protect us from the sun. <laughs> Excellent! All aboard! It's a little bit cramped in here. Everybody ready? Here we go! Why isn't it going up, Miss Rabbit? I don't know. When I pull this handle, it usually makes the hot air balloon go up. I know! You forgot to untie the balloon from the ground! Oh yes, that's right. Don't worry, I'll untie it for you. There we go. Hurry Daddy Pig, the hot air balloon is leaving without you. Wait for me. Here we go. Up, up and away. Careful Pepper. It's a long way down. Everything looks so small from up here. I think I can see our car from up here. Wow! And look! There's our house! <laughs> oh, hello there. <laughs> I think it thinks you're a tree, Daddy. Its wings must be very tired to have flown all the way up here. Oh dear! Where did my hat go? <laughs> Daddy, the little bird knocked your hat off your head. Oh dear, Daddy Pig's head isn't protected from the sun anymore. Don't worry, Daddy Pig. Your hat won't have gone far. Down we go. Hmm, I was sure your hat would be around here somewhere. There it is. Your hat stuck in that tree. I'm not quite tall enough to reach it. Thank you, little bird. Thank you, Peppa. Thanks for taking us up in your hot air balloon, Miss Rabbit. 
I'm glad you enjoyed it, Peppa. Everyone had quite an adventure, didn't they? Yes, especially Daddy's hat. <laughs> oh. <laughs> what are you doing, Daddy? Well, I'm pretending to be a penguin, of course. A penguin? Why? Because we're all going off on an adventure to the aquarium. Yay! <laughs> Four tickets, please. Oh, sorry. Five tickets. All right, in we go. Look, Daddy, it's the penguin. <gasps> Let's see how it's really done. together like that, Mummy. They do it to stay warm, Pepper. Oh, like this? Ho-ho, oh, exactly. Hang on a moment. Where's George? <laughs> Can I have a go? Can I have a go? It does look like fun. <laughs> 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 All right, lots to see. Come on, Peppa. Come on, George. Look at all the fishies in the tank. I can swim just like them. What is it, George? What's wrong? Oh, no. You've lost your dinosaur toy. Well, don't worry, George. We'll find it. It can't have gone far. <laughs> Whoops. Sorry. It's only me. <laughs> I thought you were a shark, Mummy. Well, your dinosaur isn't over here, George. Maybe you dropped it in the fish tank. Dinosaurs have eight tentacles. Do dinosaurs look like horses? Are dinosaurs star shaped? Hmm, then I don't think it's here. Look, the penguins are acting awfully strangely. It looks like they found something unusual. Unusual? <gasps> I know! It's George's dinosaur toy! We found it! Hooray! Thanks, Penguin. Although I think your waddling needs a little work. <laughs> <laughs> Pepper and George are visiting the aquarium with Mummy Pig and Daddy Pig. What's an aquarium, Mummy? An aquarium is a special place where lots of different kinds of fish live. Hello, Peppa. Hello, George. Have you come to visit the aquarium? Yes, we've come to look at the fishies. Wonderful. How many tickets would you like? We need four tickets, please. There you go. Have fun. Yippee! Thank you very much. <laughs> the aquarium is full of different types of fish. <laughs> wow! Look at all the fish. Yippee! Hey, where did they go? <laughs> Not so close, Pepper. You're a lot bigger than they are, and we don't want to scare them. There they are. Hello, fishies. I'm sorry that I scared you. 
Little fish hide in the rocks and plants to keep safe when they see a bigger fish coming. <laughs> but I'm not a fish. Ha <laughs> ha ha. Let's look in the next tank. Oh, here are some very funny looking fish. They're so beautiful. What are they? They're called jellyfish. Mmm, jelly! <laughs> They're not made of real jelly, George. <laughs> They're so wibbly wobbly. Shall we see what we can find in the next room? Yes, let's go! <laughs> in the next room, Pepper spots a very strange looking creature. Oh, what's that? That's an octopus. George is a little bit afraid of the octopus. Ooh. Don't worry, George. The octopus isn't going to hurt you. Look at how many legs it's got. Why don't you try and count them? OK. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Well done, Pepper. Oh, look, Pepper. There's your friend, Susie. <laughs> Hello, Pepper. Hello, Susie. Are you looking at all the fish in the aquarium, too? Yes, but I think this tank is empty. No, Susie. Don't do that. You'll scare the fish. You were right, Pepper. Wow, that's a really big fish. Fishy! <laughs> the big fish splashed us. <laughs> what a naughty fish. Let's get you little fishies home and dry. Pepper and George love the aquarium. Everybody loves the aquarium. And Peppa is at her playgroup with all of her friends. Eyo! Yes, much better. Good morning, children. Good, Good morning, morning Madam Gazelle. Gazelle. Now, who can tell me what is so special about today? The, the carnival. carnival! That's correct. Ooh, voila! And right on time. All right, children, let's head outside. Here we go. Go on, have fun. Peppa and her friends don't know where to start. What should we do first, Susie? Um, the Ferris wheel? Yes! Hello, Susie. Hello, Peppa. Hello, Susie. Hello, Peppa. Let's do the carousel next, Susie. Emily, do you want to come on the carousel with us? Oh, yes, please. Any takers for the carousel? Yes, please. Yes, please. Yes, please. Hello, Emily. Hello, Peppa. Hello, Susie. Hello, Emily. Hello, Peppa. Hello, Susie. Hmm. Hmm. What should we do next? Grandpa Pig. Madam Gazelle said she needed a train driver for the fun fair. And you know I do love locomotives. Now, all aboard. <laughs> Hooray! Peppa must have had a very busy day at playgroup. <laughs> Looks like she isn't the only one. 
Good morning, children. I hope you're all ready for sports day. We're super ready. I've been practicing running and jumping, and I've been practicing throwing and catching. Excellent. Well, let's all get warmed up. Oh dear, it's raining. Looks like we won't be able to have our sports day after all. Hurry, children! Let's head inside before we all get soaked. Oh, I was really looking forward to sports day. Not to worry, children. Perhaps we can have our sports day inside instead. Inside? Yes. There are lots of fun things we can do inside when it's raining. Hooray! Our first event shall be the egg and spoon race. Yay! I love an egg and spoon race. The egg and spoon race is about more than just speed. You have to have lots of balance and care as well. Is everybody ready? Ready! ready. Okay then. On your marks. Get set. Go! Whoa! This is harder than it looks. <laughs> You'll never catch me. <laughs> We'll see about that. Careful, children. Remember, both you and your eggs need to cross the line. <gasps> oh, no! <laughs> Congratulations, George. You are the winner. <laughs> Oops, never mind. On to the next event. Let's see what our next event shall be. Ooh, Ooh art! That's one of my favourite subjects. Let's see who can paint the best picture of themselves. What colours shall we choose, I wonder? Can I have a pink, please? But Susie, I need to use the pink as well. Maybe we can share. OK. <laughs> Wow, these are all so wonderful children. And who's this, George? Dinosaur! Rawr! Can we put them on the wall so everyone can see them? Of course we can. What a wonderful idea, Peppa. OK, last one. Let's theme this activity around music. <laughs> How about we play musical statues? I'll play the music on my guitar and you all dance along. When the music stops, you all need to stop dancing and stand still. <laughs> this is going to be fun. George, you were supposed to stop dancing when the music stopped. Never mind, George. How about you come up here and help me play some music for Peppa and Susie? Drum! OK, time for round two. Slow down, George. I'm not sure I can play that fast. Phew! I'm exhausted. This was the best indoor sports day ever! <laughs> Hello everyone! Hello, Hello Mademoiselle! 
Today is a very special day because we're going to be learning all about dinosaurs. Yay! My brother George loves dinosaurs. Who here can tell me something about dinosaurs? They've got big, stompy feet. Very good, Pepper. Anyone else? They have big, swooshy tails. Yes, Danny. The Diplodocus has a tail that's 15 meters long. I love the Dimbledogus. Ooh, they have really loud roars. Roar! And great big teeth for munching. Well, I'm very impressed. You all clearly know a lot about dinosaurs, which is a good thing, as today you're going to be making your very own dinosaur model. Hooray! You can all use the crafting supplies from the cupboard. Let's get to work! Ooh. I'm going to make the big, stompy feet. Dinosaurs like muddy puddles too. <laughs> this can be the body, a spotty body. And these can be the claws. Roar! Watch out for the swishy swashy tail. It needs big eyes so it can see all its dinosaur friends and big teeth so it can smile at them. Done! Wow, it's not like any dinosaur I've ever heard of. It's much, much better. I'm awarding this dinosaur first prize. Yay! You know what that means. Home time. Mummy, Daddy, can I show George the dinosaur we made? Of course you can. <gasps> dinosaur! <laughs> George, I hear you're quite the dinosaur expert. What do you think of our model? It's a silly billy saurus. <laughs> <laughs> What a great idea, George. We can make it a moving dinosaur. <laughs> dinosaur. <laughs> Off we go. <laughs> It's a lovely morning and Peppa and her friends are at a playgroup. Good morning, children. Uh -oh. Good morning, Madam Gazelle. Ah, that's lovely. Now, I hope you have all done your homework. Yes, Madam Gazelle. Excellent. What have each of you decided to do for our playgroup talent show? I will be singing a song. <coughs> me, 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 me. I will be doing a dance. I will be making everyone laugh with my funny jokes. Ooh, I do love to laugh, Emily. And what about you, Danny? I will be doing some magic tricks, like this. Abracadabra, ziggity zat, on the top of my head is now a hat. Oh. And my talent will be jumping in muddy puddles. <laughs> All of the children are very talented. Wonderful, wonderful. Let's go to the theatre so we can get lots of practice before the big show. Hooray! Ooh. <laughs> this is so exciting. I have never been on a real stage before. Me neither. Look at all the space I will have to sing my song. And look at all the different places I can sing. There are even sound effects for my magic tricks. Oh 
dear. It looks like Rebecca Rabbit is feeling a bit nervous. Are you all right, Rebecca? Oh, uh, well, I didn't know the stage would be so big. Don't worry, Rebecca. Today is going to be the best day ever. I'm not so sure. Isn't this exciting? Oh yes, I can't wait to see all the lovely performances. And now it is time for the Playgroup Talent Show. Good afternoon to all of our family and friends and welcome to the Playgroup Talent Show. We have quite the show for you and we know you're going to enjoy it. Now please welcome Peppa Pig! Hooray! My talent is jumping in muddy puddles. Hooray! Hooray! Twinkle, twinkle, little star How I wonder what you are Hooray! Why did the duck cross the road? Why did the duck cross the road? The chicken had the day off! <laughs> Abracadabra, prickly thorn Say goodbye to this unicorn Oh! Oh no, it looks like Rebecca is feeling nervous. Come on, let's help her. Come on, Rebecca, you can do it. Well, that was very special, wasn't it? All of our children worked very hard, but the talent show trophy goes to Rebecca Rabbit. With a little help from her friends, she faced her fears and danced marvellously. Hooray! Hooray! <laughs> Mummy Pig is doing some work in her office. <laughs> Hello. Yes, thank you for your email. Boo. Hmm. Oh, oh. I'm so sorry, but do you mind if I call you right back? I have an idea. Daddy Pig is doing some tidying. Why don't you help him? Cleaning. That doesn't sound very fun. See? Sounds like he could use a little bit of help. Are you all right, Daddy Pig? Um, yes, I'm all right, but I could use a hand. <laughs> as soon as I've finished my work, I'll come and help too. Oh. Oh. Are you all right, Daddy? No, Pepper, is that you? Where are you? <laughs> Silly Daddy, we're right here. Oh, hello there. Have you come to help me clean? But cleaning is boring, Daddy. We can make anything fun, Pepper. Hmm, I'm not so sure. Wow, it's my mermaid doll. Daddy, I have an idea. Look, <laughs> Pepper is dressed as a mermaid. But where is George? <laughs> Come on, mermaids and lobsters. Let's pretend we're tidying under the sea. Hmm. Oh! <laughs> oh! Hmm. Hmm. Oh! <laughs> Oh, our treasure. 
treasure chest. Now I have another great idea. <laughs> Sounds like they're having fun. <gasps> oh, you have been busy. <laughs> Come and play with us, Mummy Mermaid. <laughs> I'll get it. Okay, George, now throw the airplane as far as you can. <laughs> Pepper, George, something came in the post for you. Grandpa Pig has sent Pepper and George some sunflower seeds and a letter. What does the letter say, Mummy? It says, Dear Pepper and George, Here are some sunflower seeds to grow in your garden. Plant these in your vegetable patch and I will plant some in mine. Let's see who can grow the tallest sunflower. Love, Grandpa Pig. That sounds fun. I am going to grow a sunflower as tall as Daddy. Come on, George. <laughs> <laughs> May the best sunflower win. <laughs> Don't forget to wash your hands. Wash, wash, wash your hands. Wash them nice and clean. Bubbly, scrubbly, scrubbly, bubbly. Wash them nice and clean. Look, George, it's growing. Oh, yes. You're going to make a lovely sunflower. Look, George, our sunflowers. <laughs> Yay! <laughs> George, you're supposed to water the sunflowers, not me. These are coming along quite nicely. Pepper and George's sunflowers have grown very <laughs> tall indeed. Oh, Pepper and George, these sunflowers are beautiful. Let's take a picture to send to Grandpa Pig. Wonderful. Now let's wash our hands before we go inside. <laughs> Did you hear that, Granny Pig? I think it's your phone, Grandpa Pig. Oh, it's a picture of Pepper and George's sunflowers. Come look, Grandpa Pig. Splendid. Pepper and George's sunflowers are much taller than mine. Let's send them a picture so they know they have won. There. Perfect. It's for you, Pepper and George, from Grandpa Pig. He says, Well done, Pepper and George. You've grown the tallest sunflowers. Hooray! <laughs> Pepper and her family are outside playing football. Mummy, the garden is looking a bit messy. Mm. You're right, Pepper. Grandpa Pig usually helps me with our garden, doesn't he? <sighs> yes, and he can't visit us right now and help us like he used to because we all need to stay home for a little while. I miss Grandpa Pig and Granny Pig too. <coughs> there, there, George. We will see them again very soon. I have an idea. Come on, everyone. Let's go inside. Why don't you two write letters to Grandpa and Granny Pig? What a good idea. Peppa and George can have Granny and Grandpa as their pen pals. What's a pen pal? A pen pal is a friend that you write letters to and then they write letters back to you. Does that mean I will get my very own post? Yes, Pepper. Ooh, how exciting. <laughs> Dear Granny and Grandpa, I miss you very much. Hope to see you soon. Love, Pepper. P.S. Our garden is very messy without your help. <laughs> Yay! Come on, Pepper and George. 
Now we have to take our letters to the post box. <laughs> now all we have to do is wait. Right, Daddy? That's right, Peppa. I'm sure Granny and Grandpa will write back straight away. Ooh! Peppa, George, you have post. It looks like it's from your pen pals, Granny and Grandpa Pig. Yay! Hooray! Read it, Mummy, read it. Dear Peppa and George, thank you for your lovely letters. We miss you very much too. But it won't be too long until we are together again. Be sure to remind Mummy to water the plants. Lots of love, Granny and Grandpa. <laughs> the post is here! Oh, there is no post today. Surprise! Granny, Grandpa, I thought I would just get a letter from you, but it's actually you. I told you we would see each other again soon, Peppa. We loved getting all your lovely letters. It made the time go so much quicker. We were great pen pals. We certainly were. Now let me see that overgrown garden. I'm sure I have my work cut out for me. You definitely do, Grandpa Pig. <laughs> Somebody's at the door. It must be the postman. The postman? The postman! Maybe it's a parcel full of surprises. <laughs> It is a parcel! Ho oh, ho ho! What a big parcel! Can you see who it's for? Dear Pepper and George, from Granny and Grandpa Pig. Oh, can we open it, Daddy? Of course you can! <laughs> It's a box of paints and paintbrushes! Wow! Imagine what we could paint with this! Mmm, <laughs> cheddar, my favourite! Well, while you three have fun with your new paint kit, I'm going to go and water the petunias! Um de dum de dum dum! I'm so excited to! Wait a second, where did the paints go? <laughs> uh oh, that's not good. Hello, Peppa. Hello, Mandy. Oh, goody, my parcel arrived. Hello, Grandpa Pig. <laughs> What's wrong, Peppa? You seem worried. Oh, oh dear. The house is covered in paint. Don't panic, I'm sure the paint will wash off. Hooray! We need some soapy water, some sponges, and we need to get this paint off before Mummy and Daddy Pig see it. Here we are! Super soapy water! And super spongy sponges! There's just one more thing. We need some clean-up music. It's my favourite song! <laughs> Silly Grandpa! Let's get cleaning! Oh, 
seen the house so clean. You can hardly tell it was covered head to toe in paint. In what? Nothing. Oh, I'm sleepy. Me too. I think it's time for a good night's sleep. Come on, Mandy. I'll take you home. Bye-bye, oh, Mandy. Bye-bye, Peppa. I'll put the little ones to bed. Good night, Peppa. Good night, Grandpa. Thanks for the surprise parcel. Oh, that reminds me. I've got one last surprise for you. If you count these sheep, You'll fall straight to sleep. <laughs> Which one of you adventurers is ready to go on a special treasure hunt? <laughs> Me! But what is the treasure, Daddy? We can't give away all our secrets just yet, Peppa. Just remember one thing. X marks the spot. Daddy, Mummy, I think we should take the motor home to investigate this spot. <laughs> Great idea, Peppa. Let's go! Yay! Hooray! <laughs> Have we got everything we need for our treasure hunt? Snacks. Check. Map. Check. Check. Great work. Well, let's go. Treasure doesn't find itself. Okay, Daddy. The first red X should be just ahead. Hmm, is that right, Peppa? Well, I'll pull over for us to take a look. What are you doing here? Well, we are here to help you on your quest for treasure, Peppa. Wow, thank you. Do you know what's buried here? You should find out for yourselves very soon, Peppa and George. Remember, this is only the first piece of treasure. There is still one more to find. Keep going and see what treasure they make. And remember, adventurers, X marks the spot. Hmm, let's see. The next red X is right here in this field. Oh no, the treasure map, it's gone. This adventure sure has taken a turn. Don't worry, Pepper and George. A good adventurer can still find the treasure. And you are the best adventurers I know. Thanks, Mummy. But how will we find the red X without a map? Aha! Pepper and George, we are heading to a place which might help you. Is the clue on this Ferris wheel, Mummy? Not quite, Peppa. Why don't you and George get on and see what happens? Hmm. Now, the Ferris wheel will lift us up very high. 
Make sure you look around everywhere. I can see the petting farm. Anything else, Peppa? X marks the spot. There it is, in the field near the petting farm. See? Not even a lost map can stop you both from finding the treasure. Treasure the chickens? <laughs> Not the chickens, Peppa, but something very special that the chickens make. Egg! You're so clever, George. The treasure here is this box of fresh eggs. Thank you very much, chickens. <laughs> Grandma, Grandpa, we found the treasure. Oh, well done, Pepper and George. Now, Pepper and George, you remembered that X marks the spot and you followed all the clues. Yes, and it was so much fun. But, Daddy, I don't know why the treasure was just some carrots and eggs. Well, Pepper. Treasure can be made from all sorts of things. You'll see. Now, did somebody ask for some treasure? Mummy, this looks delicious. Thank you, Peppa. And it was made using the ingredients Peppa and George found themselves. It's our very own adventure cake, George. Ho, ho. <gasps> Remember, Pepper and George, treasure can be made from just about anything. But it might not last long if Daddy Pig is around. <laughs> oh, silly me. It's just a picture. Did I just hear a little giggle? Yes, I definitely heard a little giggle. <laughs> there you are, Rebecca. That's two down and three to go. Whee! <laughs> I wonder if someone's in the motorhome. Hmm, where could those noises be coming from? Oh, no one in here. Are they in the bedroom? Oh. Nope, not there either. How about the bathroom? Nothing. Where could that squeaking noise be coming from? Ho oh. ho! George, I found you! That's three down and two to go. Did I just see someone go down the pole? Susie Sheep, there you are. Found me. <laughs> There's five little ones. We found four of them, so that just leaves one. Peppa. Yippee! Where could she be? Keep an eye out for clues, Detective Pig. Oh. Look, muddy footprints. I know someone who loves splashing around in muddy puddles. Come on, team. Let's all follow the footprints and see if we can find Pepper together. <laughs> we see you, Peppa. <laughs> found me. We found them all. And what better way to celebrate than jumping in a great big muddy puddle? Oh. <laughs> Yay! <laughs>